the song we have sung, Open the Eyes of My Heart, O God. I learned that the heart has eyes. Isn't it? That's what the Bible says. The heart has eyes. And this is, um, my topic will be, um, the hearing ear and the seeing eye. And that is from the book of uh, Proverbs 20, verse number 12. NLT says, um, ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from God. And in King James Version, uh, we can read again in NLT. Just go back to NLT. Ears to hear and eyes to see, both are gifts from the Lord. And in uh, King James Version, the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made even both of them. They are gifts and the Lord has made both of them. And this is what I, what I want to say this morning. That because the heart has eyes, we need to tell our God to open the eyes of our heart so that we may be able to see our God highly lifted in glory and power and in love. And uh, I was, as I was preparing this message, this is what I learned. That uh, we have not, or I have not been able to appreciate the eyes and the ears that God has given to me. Have I ever woken up one morning and then I held my ears and I told Jehovah God, thank you for the hearing ear that you've given unto me. Or thank you for the seeing eye that you've given unto me. There are some things we take for granted because we feel they are very little. But the Lord wants us to say thank you to him. Supposing your eyes were blind, you could stumble everywhere you walk. You will need someone to help you to come to church. That is true. You will need someone to help you cross the road. But look at it. The Lord has given us these eyes, the natural eyes. And I just want you to take a minute. And thank God for the eyes and the ears that you have. Thank you, Jesus. Now, these are not the eyes I'm going to talk about. But we thank God because they will help us to know. Now, the spiritual eyes and um, the spiritual ears that need to hear the word of God. And in the book of Isaiah 30, verse number 21, this is what the Bible says. Uh, media team, Isaiah 30, 21. For through the voice of the Lord shall the 21, and thy eyes shall hear word behind thee, saying, this is the way walk ye in it. When you turn to the right and when you turn to the left. That will hear the voice of Jehovah God saying, this is the way, walk in it. But now see, if you are spiritual eyes and you are, uh, spiritual ears cannot hear the voice of God, you will misrepresent our God. Now, supposing... Uh, Abraham did not have the spiritual eyes and the spiritual ears. And then the Lord says, go and sacrifice your son. He would have done it, isn't it? Because if his spiritual ears were dull and the spiritual eyes could not even see, he would not have moved from 
where he was to where God wanted him to go. But because of having the uh, spiritual ears, he obeyed the voice of God when the Lord said, go sacrifice your son. And he raised up the knife. And because his ears were alert to the voice of God, they were tuned to heaven, he was able to hear the Lord say, put down the knife. If he did not have the spiritual eyes or the ears that hear, he would have misrepresented God. And how many times have we misrepresented our God? Because sometimes our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears refuse to cooperate. They don't hear the voice of God. And this one happened at the beginning of creation. In the garden of Eden, when the, uh, Adam sinned, we are told in Genesis 21 verse number 19. And God opened, uh, um, sorry, in Genesis uh, this is about uh, Haggai, but uh, somewhere in Genesis, the Bible says that uh, when Adam and Eve sinned, now we lost our spiritual authority, we lost our spiritual eyes, we lost our spiritual ears, and then we were moved out. But thank God, he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to reclaim us, to restore us, so that we may have our spiritual eyes to see the Lord glorified in every situation. Because our Lord is everywhere. When you are walking along the road, the, 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 road, the Lord is whispering to you, this is the way, walk in it. When you are going somewhere else, the Lord is whispering to you, this is the way, walk in it. And when we are able to hear the voice of God, we will not stumble. We will not fall. We will not fall into sin. We will not be in places where we are not supposed to be. But because we lost the spiritual ears and the spiritual eyes, we walk like blind people. Have you ever seen... And I'm not talking about the brothers and the sisters uh, who are here and they wear specs. Eh? I'm not talking about you. Have you ever seen a person? I'm a glasses. Sour, sour. Irene, I'm a glasses. But they are looking for glasses. Sikuna kuna tendekanga ivo rosemary. Until Pastor Dan will tell you, but Ebu, touch your eyes. And then you realize <laughs> you have your glasses on. We don't see. May the Lord help us to see. In the story of Hagar, that is Genesis 21 verse number 19. And God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water. Does it mean that the well was not there? What had happened that she couldn't see? The well. In that desert. Then we can read it. Then God opened Hagar's eyes and she saw a well full of water. She quickly filled her water uh, container and gave the boy a drink. Does it mean that the well was not there? It was there. But until the Lord opened her eyes, she was not able to see. And we are here, maybe we are doing businesses, and you are struggling, we will go before the Lord and say, God, open my eyes so that I may see your glory in this business. Open your eyes that I may see the future of these boys that you've given unto me. That one who is in drugs, that one who is using um, um, substance, and maybe you are looking at yourself, you prayed about it, and you are wondering, Mbona maombi yangu haijibiki? How we pray that the Lord will open our eyes, that we may see the glorious future of our children as we pray for them. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
that will be able to persist in that business, knowing that once the Lord opens my eyes, I will see many clients that he's sending my way, and therefore I will not uh, give up. I will hold on, and I will push. How I pray that the Lord will open our eyes to be able to see that as we pray, we are praying to a glorious God who answers prayers. Not giving up in our prayers. How I pray that as we read the word of God, the Lord will open our eyes to see him lifted up. That we may be able to say, I will hold on to my God. I will pray. Even if I do not see anything along the way, I will still continue to pray unto my God. I will trust in him never to give up. In the book of Luke 23, verse number 31. And here, we are talking about two people who are walking with the Lord Jesus. And they are talking to themselves. Uh, before we go there, let, let me read this one. Luke uh, 24, verse number, that is 24, verse number 31. Okay. 24, verse number 31. This is what the Bible says. And their eyes were open, and they knew him, and he vanished out of their sight. And miracles can only happen when the Lord opens our eyes to see. And miracles are all over. Even that sister, that brother seated next to you is a miracle this morning. And how I pray that the Lord will open our eyes to see our miracles. Naturally, we can see, but spiritually, we are blind. And most of the times, not always, but most of the times, we are so blind. These organs are gifts from God, the eye and the ear. We sometimes never think about our hearing or our seeing as gifts unless we find them to fail us. Wakati, mutu anaanza kuongea kishout. Yo naona, eh, hey, imasikio yango sasa imeanza aje. Or else, when someone is talking to you and they are shouting, you are wondering, it took us too close and you are shouting, Bona. And these two pairs, the eyes and the ears, are wonders from God. This is the greatness of the power and the glory of God. That the ear is supposed uh, to hear the sound as the um, worship team was singing. Those wonderful songs. That the ear picks up and then it takes the message to the brain. And then the tongue is loosed. You are singing along. The wonders of our God. Banasifiwe. That the image when you are seeing Maureen, you are seeing something black. That is the communication. No, I mean the blouse, not myself. I'm a, yes, a Sudanese sister with my sister Washu. Uh, no problem. Uh, that is the beauty. Uh, being in the house of God with people who are light. I call her the Chinese. I call her my, my orange and so she, tuna, tuna saidia na hivo. Bana yeso asifiwe. What I mean is that you will see someone wearing red. Because you have used your eyes, and then the eyes has communicated with the brain to remember that Maureen was wearing something black. The wonders of God. Don't look for big miracles. Start with these small ones. And you will love God forever. Now, we need seeing eyes, we need hearing ears. 
we are all in need of spiritual eyes and spiritual ears. Why? Because the sin in the garden of Eden robbed us of all this. We are a fallen race. The fall of man brought in spiritual deafness until God's restoration. The test became perverted. So man puts better, uh, bitter things, or chooses bitter things for sweet things because we lost the test. Man chooses poison of hell instead of the bread of heaven. Man licks the dust of the serpent and rejects the food of angels because we are a fallen generation. Spiritual blindness is real, just like the natural blindness. And how I pray that the Lord will help us as we sing, God, open the eyes of my heart that I may see you high and lifted up in glory. Our condition, therefore, as men is terrible. If you are using bitter things for sweeter things, you are preferring bitter ones for sweeter, then our state is terrible. Reasons as why our eyes should be opened. You see, when the Lord opens your eyes and the Lord opens your ears, what happens is that you will see the miracles of God in place. The miracle does not occur until the eyes are opened and the ears can hear. When the eyes are opened, you cannot miss divine direction. You can't. Because the eyes are open. How do you miss the divine direction? Everything about God becomes sweet. Prayers become your lifestyle. And you pray and pray and pray and pray and pray. Until you pray no more. And uh, I'll give this example about uh, prayer. That I, I live closer to the road. Those ones who know where I live. And uh, I usually maintain my hour of prayer. And when I'm praying, I don't pray silent prayers. I don't pray silent prayers. Loud prayers. And I pray in the language that people can understand. And one time, <laughs> a neighbor who was not born again, she used to come back home drunk in the later hours. And she could uh, stand at my door listening to the prayers as I was praying for sinners to be born again. And she says, Amen. And then she opens her door, goes to her house. And this one she confessed the moment she received the Lord Jesus as her personal Savior. That is now the, the time I came to learn that she used to, used to listen to my prayers. And one time she told me this, that she came home, I mean, akaweka kwa moto na akasema kwa sababu ya jirani yule anaombanga sana, mimi sitakufia hapa kwa moto. Because she knew she was so drunk na ameweka nyama kwa kwa moto. And true to that, she woke up when nyama ilikuwa imekuwa makaa. Nyumba iko na moshi. Na kaambia mungu, ndiyo nilisema siwezi kufa kwa moto kwa sababu ya jirani yula naomba. And that is why we should pray loud prayers. Even those ones who, uh, there's a man who used to, to, to come home late kwa barabara tu akipita. One time, nikamusikia akasema, ah, mungu. Huyu mama naombeanga nini kila wakati? Nye, 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 nye. Sumupe! <laughs> nika wachana na maombi, nika cheka. <laughs> the doing of Jehovah God. Hata huyo sunaona aliniombea, mungu anipe. Uy. <laughs> 
God is good. And there's joy in serving God. We continue. We have said that the open eyes, uh, you will not miss divine direction. A soldier who cannot see and has a gun can shoot aimlessly and is very dangerous. Spiritual blindness um, hear the truth but cannot see what it means. When you are spiritually blind, you will hear the truth. You will preach to that person. But unless the eyes are opened, this person will not be able to receive the Lord Jesus. But ours is to preach and to pray for them that the eyes of their understanding may be opened. That the eyes of their hearts may be opened to know the Lord and serve him. Why our eyes should be opened to know the secret of the mountain you are threshing. You cannot start threshing the mountain that you do not know. True or true? We, we are in the season of threshing our mountains. But how will you know the mountain that you are supposed to thresh when your spiritual eyes are blind? How will you be able to fight this battle when your spiritual eyes are blind? For you to know your enemy, you need the eyes to be opened so that you may know that Judas' kiss is not meant for love, but is a betrayal. That you may be able to know that this friend is not a friend indeed. And therefore you move on. We will not make mistakes as ladies. Getting married to people who do not know God and they pretend to be knowing God. We will not make that mistake whenever our spiritual eyes are open. I'm saying that also to our brothers. You will not marry a knife instead of a wife. When your eyes are open. You know they are knives. And they pretend to be wives. <laughs> but they are not in this church. When your eyes are opened, you will not misrepresent our God. When he says, go to Damascus, because there's somebody that I want you to open his eyes. Utaenda kwa kila nyumba ukiuliza, ni nani hapa? Nimetumwa na mungu afunguliwe macho. Sijui ni nani? Utasema hivo. Because you'll hear the voice of God. And the Bible tells us in John 10, 27, that the sheep know the voice of their shepherd. You will not misrepresent our God. But you will continue in the knowledge of our God. How I pray that the eyes of your understanding, the eyes of your heart will be opened that you may see the glory of God. That you may see why you are in this church. That you may see why you are in Nairobi? Nairobi might be the Ushago ya kwa kina watu wengine. Najua kina Julia Mburu. Huku ni Ushago kwao. But this is our town. The Bible tells us that the Lord will bless us in the city and in the up country. Nairobi is our city. We need the spiritual eyes to be opened for the blessings that the Lord has said will bless us in the city. Bana Yesu asifiwe. And hold on, push, because the Lord is with you here. Every moment, every morning, tell God Nairobi, and for those ones whose Nairobi is there, we shall go. Even the Lord has said in the up country, the Lord will bless us. You can still wake up in the morning and tell Jehovah God, this is my we shall go. And you said you bless me in the up country, and you bless me in the city. Bana Yesu asifiwe. 
And you will enjoy walking with the Lord. And when you are walking with the Lord, you will not say, the Lord has left me. Because you will still feel his presence closer to you. Bana Yesu asifiwe. The Lord is good. And he's gracious to us. And he's telling us, come. Let us reason together. And he's saying again, keep on trusting in me. Pray and pray. Because prayer, when you have spiritual ears and spiritual eyes, prayer now becomes your breath. And it becomes your air that you breathe. You will not be able to live without it. You will put prayer in place. And you will pray. And the Lord will come through for you. Bana Yesu Asifiwe. How I pray that our spiritual eyes and ears will be open. And when they are opened, you will see Satan. And you'll know this is Satan. And you'll know how to bind and how to pray. And things will move and things will happen. Because our God has promised us. Open the eyes of my heart. Jehovah God, I want to see you. High and lifted up. Shining in your glory. Bana Yesu Asifiwe. Natural eyes, yes, they are good. Very good. But because the Lord met the eye, and he has told us there are also spiritual eyes. The spiritual eyes are also foreseeing. Just the way the natural eyes are foreseeing. So this morning I pray that we will listen to the voice of God and we will pray that the ears of our hearts will be opened to hear what the Lord says. When the Lord healed the deaf man, he just sighed and said, a father, meaning be opened. And maybe this morning the Lord is here also saying, a father, be opened. The eyes, be opened. The ears, be opened. Start hearing the voice of God. Start seeing God lifted up in his glory. In the name of Jesus. Now, for instance, God is everywhere. Yet sin or natural eyes see him not. But God is everywhere. And when you know God is everywhere, you will not hide in sin. Because even in that, God is everywhere. May the Lord help us. And when the spiritual eye is so blind, one will not be able to see God. He does not even see the law of God. He will not be. But our God is gracious. He wants us to possess this pair of eyes and this pair of ears that we may do that or we may occupy properly until he, he comes. And it's God alone who can give us spiritual eyes. It is him alone, the maker of heaven and earth. When we return back to him and say, Jehovah God, here... I need to hear your voice. Give me the hearing ear. God, I need to see you here. Give me the seeing eye. Because we lost those eyes. And we, we should keep on asking Jehovah God to give us those eyes and those ears. In everything that we do. 
Even in this nation, we need seeing eyes. We need to see God glorified in every situation. We need to know this Jehovah God who has called us. He's able to open our eyes. He's able to speak to us because he's still speaking. If the Lord speaks and says, go to this place. If you've not heard him, you will not be able to go. And then God will not be glorified in this. But I'm praying this morning that we will leave our comfort zones and pray to God that we may be able to enter the executive club of Elisha and part the waters and speak to things and things will start moving. Have you ever desired that you meet a sick person who is lying on the floor and because they are waiting for a vehicle to take that person to hospital. And there you are, a born again Christian. You ask, eh, kwani ni mgonjwa? Acha bwana watawasaidia. Have you ever wished that you could just speak and then things happen? And then the glory returns to our God. Because the generation of today are waiting for signs. Signs to know Jehovah God. Signs to serve God. And that is why people keep on running to places where the miracles are being faked. In those churches, you will find that there are so many people. Ameripwa, geuza mdomo, ikae hivi, mtakupatia ngiritano. Mutu anaenda, anapractice, anapractice, mpaka mdomo inakaa hivo masa. But if the Lord opens our eyes, we will see him and we will hear his voice and we will not go to such a places because it will be us speaking to people and miracles will be happening. Have you ever desired that you just pray for this person. And then like uh, Benson Idahosa. This guy, I like reading, uh, going to the YouTube of Benson Idahosa. One of the things I learned about him is that uh, the witches of the world had planned for their conference in a certain city. And him, he had also planned for a conference for Christians. And let's say it was like Kasarani Stadium. Benson had gone there, had booked the venue early enough. But then the witches leader, CEO of the witches comes. <laughs> and then books the same stadium because the stadium people fear witches. They cancel Benson Idahosa's con uh, conference and gives it to the witches. Then they are afraid to tell him, but the Lord told him something. Then he went to the stadium before that witch left. <laughs> so when he went there, they were like, sir, you know, the witches, uh, you know, they, they have come and uh, we've, we've given them uh, you see it now, so we will, we, will, we will shift it to another place. Then he says, I'm not leaving this place. The witches have to leave. And before it is settled, that CEO of the witches appears at the reception. And then he says, I'm shifting our conference to South Africa. It's because of the servant of God in that place that had the, uh, the, the, the ear that talked to him and said, rush before this man moves out. Who has more power? It is us who are in the Lord, not the witches in the world, but the spiritual eyes and the hearing ear until it is opened, will not be able to perform those miracles. 
another story about him. His mother passes on when he's going for a conference for 10 days. And then what he said, someone comes and says, sir, please cancel that one. You know, you, your mama has passed on. And then the man smiles and, and, and answers this and tells him, my friend never told me. Mama is not dead. I'm going for the conference. Then he leaves. And then they are saying, no, even the doctors have confirmed. Akina Phillips have confirmed that your mama has passed on. Then he says, take my mama to the bedroom, my bedroom. Then it's like, he, she's going to rot 10 days in your bedroom. So I would rather take her back to the morgue. Then he says, it is my bedroom. Take my mama to the bedroom. And then he goes away for 10 days. The first miracle, the body did not rot. He preached for 10 days. Then when he came back, he called out, Mama, I am back. Give me a glass of water. And the mama stood up and gave him a glass of water. We long to be in such a position as children of Jehovah God. How we pray that the Lord will help us to open our eyes every time that we may see him glorified and lifted up in every situation, that we will speak to such a things and they will start moving. That is our God. He still performs miracles, but he's looking for you and me to use. And therefore, we must stand. He who Christo warejareja tumewachana nayo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. He who Christo wa five cent tumewachana nayo. Tunataka ku move and see the glory of God in every situation where we move to. Bwana asifiwe. How I pray that the Lord will help each one of us to long to be with him every time and to hear his voice and to see him glorified in all our situations. Never give up my brother. Never give up my sister. The Lord is yet to do great and mighty things in you. You are a Christian and your eyes are being opened to see this God that we serve. And if you are not born again, there is room for you to receive the Lord Jesus and your eyes will be opened. And the miracles that we hear will be yours for the asking. You will perform them because Mungu hana atiniju uyu tundi anaweza. If he can use the stones, you, you, you are not a stone. He can use even punda. For us, he can use anything that is available for his use. So it is you, my brother, my sister, to be available for the Lord. And he will use you. Maximum. Let people know that they are lived a Christian. In wherever you are. Let me tell you one time. There used to be a mama who used to wake up at 3 a.m. She was my alarm system. Angeamuka 3, ninasikia maombi pia mimi naamuka. But ole wangu, when she moved away, that day I overslept. Because my alarm system had gone away. But I'm praying that you become that alarm system in the place where you are placed. You are there for a season. Mungu anakuamisha na kupereka runda. Mungu anakuamisha na kupereka Lovington. Let the people feel you right now where you are living before you go away. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I want us to stand up and pray. Our Father and our God in Jesus' mighty name, we want to thank you as we lift your holy name on high this morning. We thank you for your mercies to us. We thank you for the power of your greatness and the greatness of your power. We want to thank you, Lord, that you've given us the eyes, even the spiritual eyes. You've given us the natural ears, even the spiritual ears to hear 
your word. And you have given us a message this morning. God, how I pray, open our eyes of understanding, oh God. The eyes of our hearts, oh Jehovah God, to see you lifted on high in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray this moment that Lord will hear your voice say, this is the way, walk in it. Lord, we pray that as we hear your voice, will not mispresent you in the name of Jesus. Father, as we pray for our people, as we pray for our families, oh God, open our eyes that we may see the greatness in our children, oh God, the greatness in our spouses, oh God, greatness in our people, greatness of our nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this morning, we humble ask you to open our eyes, oh God, the spiritual eyes. Use us, oh King of glory, because we are the ones living in this generation. Lord of glory, that the miracles, oh God, will happen when our eyes are opened. The miracles, my God, will happen when we hear your voice say, this is the way, walk in it, in the mighty name of Jesus. We long, my God, to be servants unto you that will not misrepresent you. Like what Abraham did, oh God, he heard your voice and he never, oh God, laid his hand on his son. Lord of glory. There are many times we have longed to hear your voice in our businesses, oh God. We have longed to hear your voice in our places of work, oh God. But this week is going to be a week with a difference. That we are going to hear your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you have told us that you bless us in the city. Nairobi is our city, oh God. We ask for your blessings. We ask that the eyes, oh God, shall be opened to the blessings that you have in store for us in this Nairobi. In the mighty name of Jesus. This week, oh God, we choose to walk in your newness. We choose to walk in your power. We choose, my God, to walk in victory in the mighty name of Jesus. As you tell us in your word, the book of Isaiah 51, verse number 3, that you are comforting Zion. You are comforting all her west places, oh God. And Lord, as you comfort Zion, as you comfort to come, uh, comfort your people, King of glory. Let there be found double-double in their portion, in the mighty name of Jesus, that there shall be a voice of melody, a voice of thanksgiving, oh God, coming from them, in the mighty name of Jesus. And for our brother and our sisters who are not born again, Jehovah God, open their spiritual eyes, and the ears, that they may hear your voice and see you glorified, seated on the throne in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Jesus.